Hello and welcome to this month's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip. This month, I intend on giving you 10 tips in less than five minutes. These tips will make your programming easier and more enjoyable. Tip number one, up here under the help menu, about Gibbs Cam, you can find the version of Gibbs Cam that you're currently using. Useful information when contacting your reseller for help. Tip number two, icon size. These icons will come in rather small by default. You can right click next to where it says mill here and choose large icons. This is definitely my preference. Tip number three, font size. You can see I dimensioned this hole here and the font is rather small. If you right click on the dimensioning palette, set font, 25 is the setting that I prefer much better. Tip number four, you can close that uh, dimension rather than throwing it away. Second icon from the left on the first floating toolbar will toggle those dimensions on and off. Tip number five, if we zoom in on this hole, you'll see it looks more like a stop sign than it does a hole. If you right click on the model, go to show properties, you can set your cord height so one thousandths, which is my go-to number, you must hit apply or it will not take effect. And you can now see that that hole looks much more like a round hole than it does a stop sign. Tip number six, file preferences. Under display, cord height. If you change this cord height to one thousandths, and hit apply. Now every new model that you pull in will be set to, uh, to the 1000s cord height. Tip number seven. I'll clear the workbench here and I'm going to show you that when I double click this operation, it loads it over here. If I want to update the speeds and feeds or anything else, I need to double click it so that it pops it open. I'm going to clear the workbench. If I go up here under file, Preferences, Interface, down here there's a checkbox next to Open Process Dialog on Upload. If I click that, now when I double click this operation, it loads it over here on the workbench, but it also immediately opens it up for me and saves me uh, one click. Tip number eight, this is your draw axis. Oftentimes, people like to customize uh, where that's located. Up here under File, Preferences, Display, Edit Appearance Settings, Background. You'll see it says Draw Axis. There's a little drop down here. Let's put it in the top left. You can see that it now moved to the top left. Tip number nine. If you go online to the same location where we download the newest version of GibbsCam, which is online.gibbscam.com, click on that software download. You'll see here we've got a manual, GibbsCam 2023 All Manuals. I highly recommend that you download that. There's much more information there than there is in the help menu of GibbsCam. I have downloaded it and I keep it on my desktop for reference. Tip number 10. When you go to post code, if you have a more complicated machine, you may have a tab that says special info right here. If you click on that, there will be information in here provided by the post developer and or the post department that will help you program this machine quicker and better. Thank you for watching this month's GibbsCam Tech Tip. Be sure to contact your reseller if you have questions about anything that was provided in this video.